balance redox equation by using ion electron method in acidic medium. Example, balance the equation below by ion electron method in acidic medium. First step, separate the equation. Before we separate this equation, we must ignore three species. The first one is H2O, the second one is H+, and the third one is OH-. So, sebelum kita separate equation kita ni, tengok dulu ada tak tiga species ni dalam equation kita. Kalau kita tengok, kita ada H2O, so kita akan abaikan H2O. Then only, we separate this equation into two half equation. MnO4- minus the partner is Mn2+. Plus. So, we write like this. I minus the partner is I2. So, we write like this. This equation is a reduction reaction. Sebabnya, bila kita calculate oxidation number ataupun nombor pengoksidaan manganis dalam MnO4- minus, ianya bernilai positif 7. Pada Mn2+, plus, oxidation number manganis adalah positif 2. So, when positive 7 reduced to positive 2, so this is reduction reaction. This equation is oxidation reaction. Sebabnya, nombor pengoksidaan iodine di sini adalah negative 1. While, nombor pengoksidaan iodine di sini adalah 0. So, when negative 1 increase to 0, so this is oxidation reaction. Kalau kita tak pasti which equation is reduction and which equation is oxidation, tak perlulah tulis reduction dan oxidation ni. Cukup sekadar kita tulis half equation ini dan ini. H plus dan OH minus ni, walaupun kita ignore dia, tapi kadang-kadang kehadiran H plus dan OH minus ni memberi kita clue untuk kita jawab soalan. For example, this question. Balance the equation below by ion electron method. As we know, ion electron method ada dua cara. The first one is in acidic medium and the second one is in basic medium. Soalan ni dia tak bagi tahu kita nak balance equation ni dalam acidic medium atau basic medium. So kalau kita jumpa H plus dalam equation kita, that means kita perlu balancekan equation ni dalam acidic medium. Kalau kita jumpa OH- minus dalam equation kita, that means kita perlu balancekan equation ni dalam basic medium. Lepas dah tahu medium mana, barulah kita ignore H+, plus, lepas tu baru kita separate equation. Kita ignore OH-, minus, lepas tu baru kita separate equation. Step 2, balance. Kita salin balik the first half equation and the second half equation. There are four things that we need to balance. The first one is balance elements other than oxygen and hydrogen. For the first half equation, elements other than oxygen and hydrogen is manganese. So we have one manganese on the left and also one manganese on the right. Charge jangan kira. So manganese is balanced. Next, for the second half equation, Elements other than oxygen and hydrogen is iodine. We have one iodine on the left, charge jangan kira. And we have two iodine on the right. So, iodine is not balanced. So, kalau tak balance, kita akan tambah coefficient. So, yang mana yang kurang? Di sebelah kiri. So, kita tambah 2 in front of I-. minus. Number 2, we need to balance oxygen. For the first half equation, we have 4 oxygen on the left, but we have 0 oxygen on the right. So, oxygen is not balanced. To balance the oxygen, we must add H2O. Belah mana yang kita akan tambah? Kita akan tambah di sebelah kanan. Sebab belah kanan yang tak cukup oksigen. How many oxygen yang dia tak cukup? Dia tak cukup 4 oxygen. So, kita akan tambah 4 H2O. For the second half equation, we have 0 oxygen on the left. And also, we have zero oxygen on the right. So, oxygen is already balanced in the second half equation. Number three, we need to balance hydrogen. For the first half equation, we have zero hydrogen on the left 
and we have 8 hydrogen on the right. So hydrogen is not balanced. To balance hydrogen, we need to add H+. So belah mana yang kita akan tambah? Tambah di sebelah yang tak cukup. Yang tak cukup adalah di sebelah kiri. So how many hydrogen yang dia tak cukup? Dia tak cukup 8 hydrogen. So kita akan tambah 8 H+. For the second half equation, we have 0 hydrogen on the left and also we have 0 hydrogen on the right. So hydrogen is already balanced in this equation. Number 4, we need to balance charge. Before we balance the charge, we must learn how to calculate charge. For example, we have 3 and H4+. Plus. So 3 is called as coefficient per kali. Plus is called as charge. So, if we want to find the charge, the coefficient must be multiplied with the charge. That means 3 times with positive 1, so the charge is positive 3. Okay, another example is 3H2O. So, 3H2O, it has no charge. Kat atas tak ada apa-apa. So, no charge means the charge is 0. So, if we want to calculate the charge, so 3 times with 0, so you get 0. Next example is EL3+. EL3+, it does not have any coefficient written in front. So, if do not have any coefficient, so it means the coefficient is 1. So, in order to calculate the charge, 1 times with positive 3, so you get positive 3. Three. First half equation, 8H plus 8 times positive 1, the charge is positive 8. Mn over minus 1 times negative 1, the charge is negative 1. So total charge for our left hand side is positive 8 plus with negative 1 equal to positive 7. For right hand side, Mn2 plus 1 times with positive 2 is positive 2. 4 H2O, 4 times 0, 0. So total charge on our right is positive 2 plus with 0 equal to positive 2. Positive 7 on the left and positive 2 on the right, the charge is not balanced. To balance charge, we need to add electron to more positive side. Positive 7 and positive 2, siapa yang lebih positif? The answer is positive 7. So, kita akan tambah elektron di sebelah kiri, iaitu yang lebih positif. How many elektron yang kita nak tambah? Since satu elektron, charge-nya adalah negatif 1, so kita akan tambah 5 elektron. 5 elektron, charge-nya adalah negatif 5. So, negatif 5 plus with positive 7, so kita dapat positive 2. So positive 2 charge on the left and positive 2 charge on the right. So the charge is balanced. Next equation, 2i minus 2 times with negative 1, the charge is negative 2. i2, 1 times 0, the charge is 0. So negative 2 charge on the left and 0 charge on the right, the charge is not balanced. So to balance the charge, we need to add electron to more positive side. Negative 2 and 0, which one is more positive? 0 is more positive. So kita akan tambah electron di sebelah kanan. How many electron? We will add 2 electron. 2 electron, the charge is negative 2. So 0 plus with negative 2, the charge is negative 2. So negative 2 charge on the left. And negative to charge on the right, the charge is balanced. Elektron ni, dia kena tambah di sebelah yang berlainan. Satu kiri, satu kanan. Ataupun satu kanan, satu kiri. Yang penting jangan tambah dua-dua belah kanan ataupun jangan tambah dua-dua belah kiri. Kalau tambah di sebelah yang sama, so dia adalah salah. Step 3, multiply equation. First equation, we have 5 electron. Second equation, we have 2 electron. So, kita kena multiply equation ni supaya bilangan electron menjadi sama. So, first half equation, we times by 2. Second equation, we times by 5. 
supaya 5 kali 2 10 elektron, 2 kali 5 pun 10 elektron. So step 3, 5 times 2 10 elektron plus 8 times 2 16 H plus plus 1 times 2 2 MnO4 minus a rho 1 times 2 2 Mn2 plus plus 4 times 2 8 H2O. Second half equation 2 times 5 10 I minus a rho 1 times 5 5 I2 plus 2 times 5 10 electron. The last step add half equations. The concept is same thing different side minus same thing same side add. So step 4, kita nak tambah dua equation ni. First kita kena cari same thing, benda yang sama. So kita nampak kat sini ada elektron, dekat sini pun ada elektron. Same thing. Kemudian kena tengok side dia pula. Dia different side ke dia same side. So, yang ni duduk di sebelah rectan, yang ni duduk di sebelah produk. So, dia same thing different side. So, apa kita kena buat? Minus, tolak. So, 10 tolak 10, kosong. So, kita cancel out habis. Kemudian cari lagi, apa lagi yang same thing? Kalau kita tengok, dah tak ada dah. Itu je, elektron je yang sama. Kalau dia ada same thing, same side, benda yang sama, duduk di sebelah yang sama, kita kena tambah. Okay, so dah tak ada dah benda yang sama. So, kita tambah terus dua equation ni. So, 16H plus plus 2MnO4 minus plus 10I minus aero 2Mn2 plus plus 8H2O plus 5I2. Cara penulisan spesies ni tak semestinya exactly sama macam saya. Contoh, 16H plus dulu, lepas tu baru 2MnO4 minus. Kalau terbalik, 2MnO4 minus dulu baru 16H plus pun betul. Yang penting, apa yang reactant akan duduk sebelum aero, apa yang produk akan duduk selepas aero. So, inilah final answer kita iaitu equation yang dah balance. Thank you for watching.